welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you two beach or coastal decor DIYs. To make both of these, I use materials mainly from Dollar Tree, but I did use a few things from Hobby Lobby. Both of these are really easy and simple to make. If you wanna see how I created them, then just keep watching. The first DIY are frame starfish. I'll be using an 8x10 frame, a sheet of burlap, some chalk paint, starfish, my hot glue gun, scissors, a pen or a marker, a paintbrush, and some jute. And everything that I'm using I'll have linked down below in the description box of where I got it. And to start out I'm just taking my frame apart. This frame is from Dollar Tree so I did have a piece come off because they're pretty cheap but they're great for projects. Just make sure that you're careful when taking them apart because the pieces aren't on there that great that hold the frame together. And I'm just painting the Waverly Inspirations chalk paint. The color I'm using is plaster and I'm painting my entire frame and I did have to do two coats of this paint. Once I've got my frame all painted I'm going to be setting that aside to dry and while that's drying I'm going to be taking the glass portion of the frame and I'm going to be tracing the outline of that onto my burlap sheet. I did pick this burlap sheet up from Hobby Lobby. I believe it was $1.99. So once I have that all traced I'm going to be cutting the burlap to size so that it will fit into my frame. After I've got my burlap all cut out, I'm now going to be taking my hot glue gun and I'm going to be putting hot glue all over the glass portion of the frame and then I'm going to be taking the burlap and putting it over top of the hot glue so that it sticks to the glass. I'm being really careful when I'm pressing down on the burlap to make it stick to the glue because I don't want the hot glue to come through the fabric since it is so thin. I'm now taking these starfish that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. They came in a pack of three, but I'm just going to be using the medium and small size. And I'm placing the border part of the frame over top, and I'm just going to be eyeballing where I want them centered before I hot glue them down. And I originally was just going to hot glue the middle part of the starfish down, but then realized it wasn't sticking as well as I would have liked it to, so I'm doing the feet part of it as well. And all you need is just a tiny bit of hot glue to make it stick. Now that I've got my starfish all glued on, I'm going to be putting my frame back together. I am going to be taking the frame away from the table while I do this so that I don't crack or break the starfish. And I could have left my frame just like this, but I did want to add a little something extra, so I'm putting jute along the edges of the frame, and I am doing two rows. To attach the jute, I am using hot glue. I'm putting the tiniest bit of hot glue onto the frame and then placing the jute over top so that it sticks, but you do want to hold the jute on the hot glue for just a couple seconds so that it hardens quickly because you don't want it to move around. And then again, just measuring around the entire frame, placing a little bit of hot glue and then placing the jute over top of the hot glue so that it sticks to the frame. I was going to leave it with just the one row around the frame with the jute, but I decided to do two rows and I think it looks really nice with two. After I'm done attaching the jute, this frame starfish DIY is complete and I'll be moving on to DIY number two, which are nautical roped mirrors. For the nautical roped mirrors, I'll be using jute, nautical rope from Dollar Tree, my hot glue gun, and also these mirrors from Dollar Tree. I'm starting out by popping the backing and the mirrors out of the frame. I'm doing this so that I can work a little bit better with just the frame part and then I can place the mirrors and stuff back in later. 
Now that my backing and my mirrors are all popped out of the frame, I'm going to be attaching this nautical rope using my hot glue gun. I'm going to be placing hot glue onto the frame and then placing the rope on top of the glue so that it sticks. And I'll be doing this along the entire frame until it is completely covered in nautical rope. I'm not being real precise with where I put my glue because I know it's going to be covered by the nautical rope so I'm just being really messy with it knowing that later on you're not going to see it anyway. Once you get around to where you started gluing the rope you can either cut off your nautical rope and then start a new piece or you can just go over top of that which is what I chose to do because it is really hard to cut through this rope as you can see here I'm just sawing away and these scissors are really not that great. I ended up having to pull out my kitchen scissors which worked a lot better. So keep that in mind if you're going to be using this rope either a heavy duty knife or some sort of really good scissors work best when you're cutting the rope. Now that I have the entire front of my frame covered in the rope, I'm taking a new piece of rope and attaching it along the outer edge. And any pieces that I have that are left over when I get down to the bottom, I'm cutting those off. And I am trying to do any cuts in the same spot so that when I cover it with the jute, you won't be able to see any of my cuts. And to attach the jute, I'm taking a little bit of my hot glue, placing it on the back, and then placing the jute over top. I am leaving it there for a couple seconds till it dries before I start wrapping the jute around over and over again. I am doing this till I have about two inches thick on the very top of the frame. I did place a little bit of hot glue every so often on the jute so that I knew it was going to stick well and not come unraveled. Now that I have the jute all wrapped around my frame and attached, I'm going to be taking some more nautical rope and I'm going to be adding knots onto the front of my frame. So I'm just making a regular knot and then kind of eyeballing how long I want my rope to be. This is also going to be a little extra hanger as well when I hang these mirrors. I'm going to be cutting off the excess rope that I don't need and then unraveling the rope a little bit underneath the knot. Next, I'm attaching the rope onto the frame. I'm placing a pretty good amount of hot glue onto the rope that's already been attached to the frame and then just pushing down the knots so that they stick to the frame. To put everything back together, I'm going to be placing a little bit of hot glue on the plastic pieces in the back of the frame so that I can reattach my mirror. And once the mirror is attached, I'm going to be placing the backing back over the mirror so that everything is put back together. Now that I've got the first one complete, I'm working on the second mirrored frame. I'm doing it just like I did the first one. I'm attaching the nautical rope with my hot glue along the front and edges of the frame until that's all completely covered in rope. And then I'm taking my jute and wrapping it along the top portion of the frame until it's wrapped about two inches thick and it is covering up any cuts that I had made in the rope. Once that's finished, I'm going to be taking some more nautical rope and making knots and attaching those with my hot glue. And once those are all attached, I'm going to be putting my frame all back together just like I did the first one to make both of my mirrors complete. And that is it for these beachy coastal themed DIYs. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before leaving. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified of all of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching.